Hey guys, today I want to talk to you a little bit about the Disney College Program. Now on the Disney College Program, it's like a paid internship where you get real world experience working at Disney World or Disneyland. It's pretty awesome. Now why I decided to make a video on this is because I did some research and I was looking into it because my daughter is on her second program at Disney World right now. And her first one, I was looking for information and I found some, but I didn't find a lot. And I was like, so this time I dug deep into it. And I was like, I want to research all my YouTube sources. I want to see what other people, what other moms. I was really worried about what moms put out there. What mom information I need to know to tell my daughter or just to know what's going on. And I got to look in and there's really not any. There are some like self videos that some kids do and they break down some of it but they really don't get into it and you know how mamas are we gotta know what's going on so guys this is going to be a series today is just the basics this is just what you need to know just off the bat because the rest of it when i started doing this i was writing down all this stuff and i was like there is a lot of stuff you need to know about this program that the information is not out there so we're going to bring it out there so today, just the basics, just the basics. So when you start your Disney college program, what it is, it's guaranteeing you 30 hours a week to work. And then you probably are gonna get more than that though, especially during busy times. I know my daughter, the first round and this one also, she did starting in late May and she worked until the second week in January, I believe. So she was there the busy times. She was there the holidays. She was there for all summer when it was crazy busy. And that's what you're in for. You're in for a lot of work. Now, you do get paid weekly. Now, you get paid weekly, but you also have to pay for your rent weekly. And that's in the housing section. We're going to cover that. But it's kind of like an apartment dorm style action but we will cover that during the housing thing but you don't have to stay there but if you do stay there your rent is taken out weekly when they pay you so you might think you're getting a really big check but you pay really big rent how you apply for the disney college program well you go online and you follow the steps it tells you it tells you step by step how to do it then after you apply they'll send you an email back saying either you're accepted to move on to the next interview process or this is where your journey ends. A few of the things you need to know. You need to at least be 18 years old. You need to at least have completed a semester of college. Now you can go ahead and apply while you're during it, but to be accepted you have to complete the semester of college. Or you can apply when you're done with college. You can be up to 24 months after you graduate. You can still do the program. Also an opportunity. Something you should know from the get go your role or your job in the Disney college speak they call it a role because it's show business it's a role so you don't know your role until you get there how they come to tell you your role number one it's what Disney needs at the time it could be anything it could be working the food section at a restaurant it could be you're doing a photo pass photographer maybe you're doing the rides at Space Mountain maybe you're helping kids on and off it could be almost anything and you will not know that how they determine this is you go through a series of interviews so the application process so you fill out your first application after that if it's accepted you move on to the next one it's like kind of like a quiz it's like an online quiz and then there'll be another and then there'll be a phone interview now during the phone interview somebody from disney will call you and you'll have a talk it's usually about 20 minutes or so you can look a lot of these up online and on youtube do searches about like questions TikTok is really helpful in this area about what questions to ask um things like that what to expect in your interview let's say you pass all areas now this could change because i am in no way a disney college program expert i'm just a mama who's done some research now this and they can change anytime and my daughter did it during covid so it was crazy then so now we're coming out of covid not as bad something you need to remember about this about 
if you have of a parent and you have a student going into this, this is a wonderful opportunity. Where else are they going to get to do this? Especially if they're a Disney fan or like my daughter, we've been taking her to Disney since she was five. And so for her to get to go and work for, as she says, work for the mouse, the head cheese. Yeah, it's corny. But anywho, so this is a, this is awesome. This is amazing. And don't think that that looks awesome on your college applications. That looks awesome on scholarships. That looks awesome on job applications. When you tell someone that you worked at Disney World, they're going to have questions. They're going to want to know. They're curious. You stand out in their mind. Oh, that's the girl that worked at Disney. Oh, the girl that applied for the teaching job? She worked at Disney World? Oh, that, you don't think that's going to give you a leg up? It will. One other thing, the college part of this. Now, there is an aspect where you can take a class or two there if it falls into what they have. Like, business has a few things. But, like, my daughter, she was doing early childhood education. <sighs> really wasn't much there. But she could have taken classes online through her college or another college and got college credit while she was there. She chose not to. She chose to put it on hold and just concentrate on her job. Now, she had a ball while she was there and she lived her college life to the fullest if you know what i mean at disney world she loved it awesome opportunity they do stuff all the time like at the little what where they live at it's called flamingo crossing and at flamingo they have all kinds of mixers and they have pool parties and they have all kinds of games that go on all the time they have characters that come they take pictures with them to keep the kids engaged to keep them from getting lonely they have opportunities for them to make friends all over the place great opportunity something else you need to consider is when you go for this this is like a huge life lesson real world on time management your student your son daughter whoever they are going into the big girl world now so with that, they're going to have to manage their time. They may work 50 hours a week, and that's a possibility. The college program kids do get worked at a lot, a lot. But on the other hand, they're getting all this experience, so why not? But if they have classes and they have to do this, that can weigh on them. Some kids have another job. Some kids wait tables even or something like that after they leave the parks because they would need to make more money that's huge so they're a kid they're pushing this real world now what they have to sink or swim and that's hard because if you're a parent especially if you don't live anywhere near them like we live in Arkansas so it's a little bit to get to Disney World it's like 13 hours from our house yes I've mapped it and it's 13 hours from our house. Now, we will go and visit every once in a while. Not near as often as we like to. So, guys, that was a basic rundown. Just the basic stuff. Just off the top of my head. But I've come up with 10 other videos that's going to go through, like, housing. It's going to go through, like, how much they get paid, when they get paid, how all that works. Transportation. Um, discounts. They get discounts. That's a plus their school work things like this i'm going to break that down for you guys but this is step one this is the basics of the d c p program from a mama's point of view to you guys i hope it was helpful see you next time